The world hasn't been stable since the pandemic forced us all to adapt to a new normal. But it looks like we're still far away from stability because the largest bank in the US has been warning everyone. Jamie Dimon, the CEO and chairman of JP Morgan Chase, has been issuing warnings all over to prepare for an economic hurricane. The global economy is quite battered as it is due to the pandemic and countless people in the USA alone have lost their jobs. And things certainly didn't take a turn for the better in 2022 when the Ukraine war erupted. Global pandemic and a war with an international outreach, we sure have seen a lot. And Jamie Dimon, who's the head of the biggest US bank, says that this is not the end of it. He's asking everyone to brace themselves for an economic storm. Diamond rarely takes up any spotlight or shows up in headlines, but now he's all over the place. It has to be something serious. Is the Ukraine war a prelude to an even bigger crisis than the one brought by COVID, as Jamie predicts? Stay with me till the end if you want to know why Jamie Diamond is predicting such challenging times for the US and global economies. Diamond has been trying to attract attention towards this impending hurricane for a year now and telling people that there's going to be unstoppable inflation and constantly rising interest rates. He brings a unique perspective regarding consumer transactions such as spending or borrowing basic utilities. Let's see how the biggest US bank is dealing with this change. First of all, let's understand what circumstances led to Jamie Dimon issuing warnings of such a huge economy and stock market threat. Last year, Dimon was concerned about the way inflation was rising and how it could get out of hand. We know that when inflation skyrockets and prices increase, it forces the Federal Reserve to increase its interest rates. Diamond's first prediction came true, as the Federal Reserve has indeed been forced to increase the interest rates since March, and it brought the rate of federal funds from almost 0% to 1.75%. Back in 2020, when the pandemic was at its peak, the Federal Reserve took some emergency measures, one of which was quantitative easing. This led to the purchase of US Treasury notes, mortgage-backed securities, and related assets. All this collectively brought down the interest rates, but now the entire emergency program is being reversed. This is known as quantitative tightening, and it is exactly what Diamond was predicting all along. By the way, are you enjoying this video? Then give it a like and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and bring you the best content about investing. So where were we? Oh yes, quantitative tightening. It began a while back, and the Federal Reserve planned to push down the balance sheet by $95 billion per month. According to Diamond, we've never had quantitative tightening like this, so what we're experiencing now could be in the history books for 50 years. Quantitative easing was meant to provide more liquidity and autonomy to the markets. Quantitative tightening, or QT on the other hand, is meant to do the exact opposite. With all of this on top of the increasing interest rates, the stocks will continue to suffer. This is why Diamond advised the world's biggest economy to take preventative measures instead of forcing the economy into a recession. Diamond held a press conference after US President Joe Biden met the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell to discuss the record high inflation. Diamond said that the economic hurricane is inevitable, but still, the public seems to be under the impression that things are fine. People have wrongly assumed, according to him, that the Fed will handle it all. But he is convinced that a storm is coming, minor or big, that's to be seen. The Federal Reserve has been under immense pressure to bring changes to the inflation rate, which is currently at thrice the amount of its 2% goal. This has increased the cost of living for all Americans. The Fed is facing a lot of difficulties because of the constant demands to reduce inflation without causing a recession. It has to fulfill these demands by increasing interest rates and through quantitative tightening. But Diamond said that they have to rely on the process of QT because there is so much liquidity in the market and they don't have a choice. All the other major banks in the US are already preparing and plotting for increasing interest rates to fight back against inflation. They are also ready to pull back from key financial markets because QT is going to add more stress to the already slow and low world economy. President Joe Biden is ready to battle inflation as he wants to bring improvements before the congressional election in November. Well, things are tight, it seems, but would it be justified to call it a storm in the making as Diamond predicted? Let's break down the Fed situation a bit to try and understand how bad things can be. Over the past year, the Fed's balance sheet has kept growing and growing. It has gone from $4 trillion to almost $9 trillion. And all this happened in just over two years. This led to all the money getting into the government's hands. The government tried to perform huge stimulus payments to the citizens, and this increased personal savings for everyone. So everyone got more money to spend, and that's what they did. We know this because consumer spending reached its peak. Also, back in the day, low interest rates allowed businesses to build new stores, outlets, and factories by taking cheap debt. And this led to more inflation because it increased the spending amount and the demands. Now people's saving balances are falling. To normalize the equation, the Fed has to take the money out of the government system to balance the supply and demand chains. The only way Fed can do this is by applying quantitative tightening and increasing interest rates. Jamie Dimon was worried about this specifically, and he had a good reason to be concerned because the QT has just started and it's going to carry on for quite some time to fully get us out of this economic hole. Considering how tight the noose is at the moment and the threat of things getting worse is real, it would be unfair to call Jamie Dimon an alarmist. 
We really do need to brace ourselves as he warns. We don't know how much it's going to take to get inflation under control, and we can't predict the stock market's reaction to all this either. But we do know this. The last time back in 2017 to 2019, the Fed tried to do some QT, but the market performed so badly that they had to stop altogether. And even if this whole situation doesn't make everything worse, we still have to deal with the aftermath of the Ukraine war. The conflict going to be, and in some cases already is, impacting the main commodities such as oil and fuel. So Jamie Dimon is right in a way, looking at the way things are headed for now. JP Morgan is going to be conservative with its balance sheet and take the necessary measures to protect itself. Now the unprecedented nature of the US central bank policy, the Ukraine war and supply chain irregularities due to COVID-19 and the stock market hurricane all just point towards unfavorable circumstances for us all. As a result, all the groceries and fuel prices are going to hike. Plus, increasing interest rates on debt such as house mortgages or car loans will affect the public. And when an economic guru like Jamie Dimon is headed for shelter, we'd better find some cover too. What do you think? Is the economic stability of the USA in danger? Or is it pure speculation mixed with exaggeration? Let me know in the comments section. If you learned something new from today's video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I make deep dives like this every week where I uncover the secrets of money and business.